Have you ever given flowers to someone? Well, if you have, these ferns right here might have been part of that flower arrangement. These are called spider ferns, but they grow in a place right here in the middle of Florida called the fern capital of the world, and you'll notice how shady it is that there are trees regularly spaced because the ferns like hot weather, but they don't like a lot of direct sun. They need the shade. If you mistakenly thought that the sunlight would be better for them and cut down all the trees, the ferns would all die. <laughs> They'd all be gone. They need the shade to protect them, but they need the sunlight to grow. It's very specific. Very similar to somebody studying for an important exam. The fact is that you need to protect that study time. As a matter of fact, in some uh, cultures, they call the school the sacred learning space, as though it's set apart because it's that important, because it, that, it needs that level of intentionality. And the shade that you give your learning, that intentionality that you give your learning, is important where, while, while you set aside that time, while you set aside the mental space in order to add that knowledge. It means doesn't mean that you have to, to stop all other activities, just like the shade doesn't stop the sunlight from coming. It stops the hardest part of the sun from coming. And just like the ferns need that protection, so you'll find that when you protect your study time, your study space, both physically and mentally, you'll realize that you, it will pay you dividends in greater learning gains and your ability to turn off when the time comes, to enjoy time with family, to enjoy the recreation time that you need. So it gives you the dividends in helping you to learn better as you take in the knowledge, and it helps you to unwind <laughs> as you need to after taking in the knowledge. So giving yourself the space, the, the shade, helps to energize what's in there because you know it's in there.